attack in Richmond has many asking whether tougher leash laws are necessary. 88 year old Evangeline Brooks was out on her morning walk when she was mauled by a pit bull. She died at the hospital. That dog was later euthanized. On your side at six, Ashley Hendricks talked to experts about what needs to be done to prevent these type of attacks. Ashley. Well, Kurt Makia, there is already a leash law in effect here in the city of Richmond, but the number of dog bites are on the rise, and now the community worries penalties under this law just aren't enough. If the dog was outside, not on a leash, nobody at the door. What, what else could have been done to protect Miss Brooks? Tonight, a growing call for answers following the tragic death of a woman who touched so many. I was hurt. I was sad and mad at the same time because this is how this woman had to die. Evangeline Brooks was killed by a pit bull just three doors down from her home. She was 88 years old. It was a name that we've always known. A uh, face that you always saw. The horrendous death motivating Richmond City Councilman Mike Jones to think about proposing legislation he says would help prevent dog attacks. If we're not doing a ban, we should be looking at some very strict restrictions in ownership. Richmond Animal Care and Control responds to about 500 dog bites a year, even with the current leash law. Local leaders are in a very difficult position. State law currently prohibits any substantial penalties beyond a, a fine. Uh, dangerous dog statutes only address the problem after the fact. NBC 12 legal expert Steve Benjamin says introducing new legislation could be met with backlash. The challenge is writing that legislation so it only affects the problem and doesn't affect or punish all those many responsible pet owners. He says other possible solutions would be to increase staffing for animal control and making it easier for people to report dogs on the run. But for this community, the main issue is clear. Pray that everything is done right for justice, that's all. And no new details on this case from RPD tonight, but Benjamin says the chances of the dog owner serving jail time is slim. There would need to be some sort of proof of criminal intent. A deadly dog attack raising concerns now for a grief stricken Richmond community. Tonight, family members tell us that they're still in disbelief after Evangeline Brooks was attacked and killed at the age of 88. Ashley Hendricks spent the day speaking with people who knew Brooks best. She joins us now. Ashley, certainly a tremendous loss for this community and her church family. Yeah, Kurt McKee, I fought back tears today learning more about the life and impact Mrs. Brooks had on the community. Pastor Jones here of First Baptist Church of Southside Richmond described her as a pillar in the community who will be missed tremendously. We have members who come and go, but then there are special members who really mean a lot. The sudden loss of Evangeline Brooks sending waves of grief at First Baptist Church of Southside Richmond. She was a uh, deacon, a choir member, Sunday school teacher. And sister in Christ for 25 years. Senior Pastor Dwight Jones says she was always delighted to serve God and others. She was what we would say is the salt of the earth. She was a wonderful person. A woman he says didn't deserve to die a horrendous death. Neighbors recall painful memories from Monday morning on Alaska Drive. She was laying here face down and at that point he had knocked some belongings off on her. Her shoes was laying right here. She was actually right here and the lady who lives here was holding her on her neck. She says Brooks was out for her usual morning walk when she was mauled down in the driveway of her late sister's home. Richmond Animal Care and Control confirming the pit bull was euthanized that day. My mother was um, just incredible. She was phenomenal. Her one and only son, Havar, now left cherishing the years of memories they shared like singing her favorite hymns. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. They all Jesus hope the selfless the life she lived as a school teacher and church leader will inspire want. others in call the community. It is a big loss. It's a big loss for me. 
Um, but I know that I, I made in my mind, up in my mind, each day I need to be the best that I can be. That I can, that I can be. Um, that is my responsibility now. An RPD is working with RACC and the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office on this investigation. No word tonight of any charges for the dog owner, which would, of course, bring some sense of closure for so many who love Mrs. Rowe.